please read the disclaimer. Let me tell you a story, boys, about trains. Trains go. They need to go, you know? It's just go, train, go. You ever seen a bullet train? Really good. Have you seen old trains? I like old trains. Trains? You ever like no denture to go? It's trains. More trains? You like trains? Welcome to trains. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know who that bit was, but... um. Welcome, I'm Bio, and this is sim the Simple 1500 series, Volume 103. Because, um, for some reason, the 101 and 102 just won't work. Not even joking. They just won't work. I don't know why, but they won't. Now, I have played this game before. This is Denture to Go, by the way. It just got re-released as part of the Simple 1500 series. It's a train simulation game. A very kind of hardcore train simulation game, if I be completely honest. Pretty hardcore. Developed by Taito Corporation. And why, the reason why I say it's hardcore, it's very, very, like, difficult simulation game, I think, in my opinion. I've played it before, as part of the Simple 1500 Shit Series, shit series Volume 4, I think. And I just find... This type of simulation game is just too... It's just not my type. It's just really not my type of game. Like, very pinpoint. you got to get perfect. And um, we're going to play... <clears throat> yep. Cool. We're going to once again... Alright, so we're off. So, we we got to reach up to 60... So, it basically, it's given us, like, a tutorial. We've got to reach up to, like, 60 kilometers an hour. This is not necessarily difficult, but... Basically, the whole game is like you going from station to station, but you got to like stop at the stations and you got to do it yourself perfectly using the controls. It's uh, it's interesting. So we reached, we've reached 60 now. So I believe this means that we can. So we've got a nice, nice speed here. That slows us down, incredibly. So yeah. So yeah, basically, just when they're both zero, you can just keep like speeding up. It's just saying that he's 70 is the speed limit here. Um. Now we're arriving at a station. It's telling us that we need to slow down. I think. No, we're not supposed to do that. So as you can see, we got to build up to eight, and it's the whole. It's basically the break. Break it down to five. And we've got to hit that. You see that little red line? That's where we got the train's got to stop. So you've just got to watch it and slowly go down the brakes. Well, it's not the brakes. You're just going down gears and what speed limit you're going on. But it's much harder than she's given credit for, if I'll be completely honest. Let's see. Boom. We managed to stop perfectly. But only because, obviously, of her instruction. But this is the whole game, and you've you don't want you don't realize how 
much of pinpoint accuracy you've got to have and it's just i think it's really difficult not really my type of game i just so game over very good was that she is she gonna let me play on my own now is that oh is that just oh, i think that was just the tutorial all right the first option was obviously just the tutorial so now we get to we'll play the real one you don't want to know this is going to be difficult we can pick this train so here's the train we're, we're playing with. I guess it's just giving us some information about the plane, uh, the train there. Almost said, almost said plane. So we're going to somewhere. I don't know. So, we can go now, we're just building up speed, that's what we're on number 5 for, we can probably go back down to zero. So this, obviously as you can see, we're slowing down from that, so let's build it back up to 5. So we've got to get to that station, you see at one one forty three, we've got to get to that station, right? That's when we've got to get to the station, we're building up speed. So I've now gone down to zero. I think we're maybe going over the speed limit. I don't know. I don't care. But we're going. Try and reach that station in time. So we're now at zero. As you can see, we're slowly decreasing our speed here. Slowly. Not, not much. Oh, no. The speed's increasing again, but obviously we're going downhill. So it's understandable. But we, it's, like I said, it's, I find it quite difficult, this game. I played, like I said, I played it before. This was going along. I don't know where the station is. Just look at the, like, the time. Oh, I think we're coming up. So, just bring it up to eight. Oh shit. What button do I press again? See, and I failed. Because I did it too early. Because I break too early. See, this is where I, I, I can't, because I'm trying to like work out where do I need to go? Where's the, where's, where's the line? To me, the line should appear way before that. Just give me a chance to kind of figure out. So, okay, so I'm nowhere near the line. Okay, cool. But no. And that's the game. I don't want to play anymore, if I be completely honest. I don't like this. I don't like this game. I'm going to be completely, completely honest. I, 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 I'd say, I wouldn't say I hate the game. I just, I really don't like it. It seems to be, to my opinion, too difficult. And then, fair enough. If you learn how to play the game, I think you'll be fine. But then you have to be interested enough to learn how to play the game. And unless you're a real train fanatic... Or you just love train simulation games for some fucking strange reason, you weirdo. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any kind of appeal here. So, but the Densha to Go series is quite um, popular in Japan. You know, maybe you know the Japanese seem to like controlling trains. Yeah, you know, video game trains. Fair play to them. It is what it is. Um, but I don't like it. So that was Densha to Go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.